Hello everybody, my name is Malefico. This time I want to share with you a little Blender add-on I wrote to help me with uh, animation when you're using uh, stop motion style. When you want to make objects appear and disappear uh, easily. You know, this is a, a task that is already possible in Blender, but it's uh, quite a mess to deal with a lot of keyframes in Outliner to turn on and off visibility either for viewport and render at the same time. For, so I figured out a way to do it very simply just by creating different object instances and keyframing the viewport and render visibility all at once. So let me show you how this works. So when you start the add-on, it will show up in the 3D viewport, in a small panel. You can see it right there. It's called uh, Mesh Framer because it will add a mesh, it will add an object at each frame you desire. We'll see how it works right now. So we have this object here, and well, we select the object we want to animate so here's my scene. You see we have a ball and a blue ball and that's all. Well obviously there's the camera, the light and a hidden plane which I will use or not for rendering purposes. But okay let's start with this. If I have my ball here and I want to animate this, I can do this for instance. I go to uh, anywhere in the timeline let's see frame number 20 and I press this button create mesh frame now what happens now if you see in the timeline two channels are created one is disabled in viewports and the other is disabled in render so and two keyframes are added one for the current frame which is 20 and another one for frame 19 just one before if you select this object you will see this is my original ball it is ball here but if you go to, to, to frame 20 my ball actually disappears it's not shown what I'm seeing here is a new ball is ball number 20 which is created by the script and it's named with a hash tag and the number 20 afterwards so if I select this object I can modify it in any way I want I can enter sculpt mode for instance and do stuff like I don't know maybe squash it a, a little bit right I can go out of edit mode of oh, sculpt mode sorry and create and go uh, forward in the timeline and then create a new mesh frame which creates a new instance of my ball here it's get selected automatically so this ball I see here is not the previous one is a new one called ball number 23 here you can see in the outline in the outliner the ball number 20 got hidden and in the viewport is enable the new one so I can now modify this again and for instance go like this yep so what happens if I exit scope mode and see what yeah that is you can see the three meshes are displaying one after the other right you can see it here in outliner oh, let me play this animation yeah that's it it's not too much okay you can go on adding mesh frames to this and modifying it any way you like it and every time you are modifying a new mesh, a new object. 
you see you can add different objects to this one and it won't matter because we are just modifying a new object so if you go to the graph editor here you can see the kind of curves that are created I will go here to this object you can see the visibility is turned off and on and then off again when you don't want to see that frame anymore so that is how it works I created this script after watching a wonderful video from Daniel Martinez Lara describing the work he's doing with Pablo Dovarro at the new key mesh um, project which basically do this in just one mesh creating different states of the mesh but I thought it was already possible to have something like that uh, using the old tools So anyway, you can um, combine this uh, kind of animation with armatures, with uh, different modifiers, with simulation, with whatever you want, because it will not interfere as long as you keep clean and neat uh, all your keyframes in the viewport and render, it will show um, transparently. You can download this script from my GitHub page it's Malefico 3D and here you can find Mesh Framer okay that's it hope you enjoyed and let me know if it works for you bye